Today we are announcing Time's Person of the Year for 2018. Uh, every year the Time editors spend months debating and talking about who they think, who we think should best represent the, the trends of the year, who had the greatest impact on the news and on the world. And this year we've chosen The Guardians and The War Against Truth. One of the big themes we've seen this year is questions about truth and a surge in misinformation. And we want to highlight the role that journalists play in providing facts, which we think of as the basis of civil discourse. We call this group The Guardians because what they're guarding is truth, liberty, democracy, and freedom. Uh, and they were up against a lot of trends this year. Specifically, we're looking at Jamal Khashoggi, uh, the Saudi Arabian journalist who was killed in the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. We're looking at two Reuters journalists, Hua Lone and Chao So U, who have been in jail actually one year tomorrow. We're also looking at a uh, CEO of a Philippines website called Rappler, uh, Marissa Reza. But this group, including uh, the Capital Gazette journalists, we think best encapsulate some of the major trends of this year. I think we are trying to make a statement insofar as we're trying to draw attention to the importance of a free press and the, the pressure that journalists operate under today. Um, time is, of course, part of that, that process, part of journalism in the world. But we, we want to pay attention to the particular zones where we feel like people are under, operating under immense pressure. Um, and hopefully get, cause people to reflect about the role that facts and information, the, the idea of putting a local newspaper and its staff on the cover, I think is a really important statement about the value of local journalism today. It, it kind of shows you uh, with Khashoggi, with Wallon, uh, with journalists who have been killed, it shows you how dangerous our job is today. I think it means the Philippines is in a battle for the life of our democracy. And the people at the front lines of that are the journalists. Um, I maintain, I'm not against the government. Uh, we are doing our jobs, and our job is to hold power to account. Our job is to tell our people when the government crosses the line. We were forced to do a better job as investigative journalists. The more you try to silence alternative views, critical questions, the more you seem like you have something to hide. That's my message for government.